On May 9th, 1945, the last Nazi concentration camp was liberated by Allied troops. Although millions did not make it through the mass exterminations, there are some who did. These are the Holocaust survivors. My name is India, and today we are going to see where some of these survivors are today. Most Holocaust survivors are currently in their late 80s and 90s. Even 850 of them have reached over 100 years old. And as of last year, it was recorded that 192,000 survivors live here in Israel. They were the ones who came to Israel after the Holocaust, determined to rebuild their lives. However, the war wasn't the end of their suffering. There's not one day where I don't recall my murdered family. It is so painful. Almost everything they had ever known before was destroyed. Their businesses, their belongings, their families, but not their fight. Despite the complete emotional devastation they faced, many of these survivors built families once again. I am a mother of four children, 22 grandchildren, and 30 great-grandchildren so far. So while there are survivors who are well taken care of today, you may be shocked to find out that 25% of Holocaust survivors in Israel live in poverty. Why? Well, the ones who arrived to Israel after 1953 are not eligible for the full benefits provided to Holocaust survivors. Also, many survivors do not know their rights. So now the Israeli government is trying to make survivors aware of the aid they are eligible for. But in addition to this, there are nonprofits across Israel that serve the survivor community. One of these organizations is called Chasdei Naomi. There are survivors in Israel who live alone. They struggle to pay for their medications and cannot even afford to heat their homes in the winter. And as Holocaust survivors age and their needs grow, we need people like Teshuva to love and care for them. We are thankful for Teshuva and all the volunteers who do this. Because the world needs more heroes like them. And today, on Israel's very own Holocaust Remembrance Day called Yom HaShoah, we remember these lives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.